Cup semifinal all set for the showdown between Fiji and South Africa. The USA Sevens in Las Vegas. A look at the Blitzbacher. They're in the locker room and the captain Kyle Brown getting those hands up. And South Africa going to meet Fiji for the 58th time with Fiji holding a 34-21 and two advantage. I mentioned Kyle Brown, you see on the Fijian side, the captain Osea Kalinasau, a hand injury, that's casted up. He will not be playing and taking over the captaincy will be Asaki Katanambao. Should be a good one. The HSBC Sevens World Series. Fiji on the left in white, South Africa on the right in the gold and green fluorescence. I am honored to be alongside former New Zealand seven star Carl Tanana, Bill Seward with you. And Carl, it's a great showdown between, well, you got a Fijian squad that they've won the Rugby World Cup sevens a couple of times, won this tour back in 06. South Africa took it in 09. And South Africa, the two time defending champions here in Las Vegas. Yeah, Fiji for me. Yeah, Bill, Fiji for me are the form team in this competition so far. South Africa haven't had it all their way, but they play better than last week. They look very composed, they look very structured, and that'll be what their case has been around, especially with Kyle Brown in charge. My apologies for leading you right up to the sound bite there. There's Federico Anselmi of Argentina with the whistle. He's going to. Uh, Try to keep this one fair. Be a law enforcer, as it were. Cecil Africa, of course. What a year he had as a player of the year back in 2011 in World Rugby. He will start things off. South Africa with a cup quarterfinal victory over England 21 to 14, while uh, Fiji was a 31-12 winner over France. And they're switching sides, which completely throws me off. This PGN team, though, Bill, they want to play on intensity. A big one out with Osea Kalinisau. He's such an important member of this PGN side with his leadership. So someone has to step up. But the guy for me for Fiji, Semi Kunitani, he is the complete player in Jersey 1. Look out for him. Unbelievable, Kunitani. All right, now going left to right across your screen will be South Africa with Cecil Africa to get it underway. Up high, and Kunitani fighting for it, didn't get it. Looked like Mata might have fell down on it, but picked up by Bronco Dupria. Dupria taking it about 10 meters out. Carl Brown spins it off to the big man, Horn. Werner Koch might find an opening, gets it across, or close to it, and it spits out. Come back with the Brown. Holds it a long time and takes a big hit for doing so as Mata returns, and yet, Kunatani hammered by the Blitzbacher. They're going to bring that one back, but not before. Very, very gets a shoulder from somebody. You see Coach Ben Ryan on the sidelines for Fiji. Got his squad in third position in the standings overall after spending six years with England. Uh, ben coming over to Fiji, and the Fijians are doing well, I would say, as uh, Duprea goes back. Can't holster that one and on the bounce, replays it. And Frankie Horn. Frankie Horn. Frankie Horn found the fountain of youth. He's a runner, I tell you, a dancer too. Smith dragged down by Viri Viri. Quack tries to present it to Cock, does. Brown with the flavorful boots. Leaves one over to Smith, but the whistle and the scrum will go to Fiji. Neil Powell, he'll be pretty happy with his troops so far. Frankie Horn, he's already shown what an integral part of this game plan he's going to be, especially against Fiji, because you need a tough guy to make and tackle you, take him to deck, and then shift the ball quickly. Going to need a couple tough guys to make some pretty tough tackles against this Fijian squad. Is Jerry Tuai wearing the nine, holding that one, going to feed the scrum with the watchful eye of Bronco Dupri alongside him. Spinning it, Revovo. And then very, very taken down by Werner Koch. Werner Koch 
getting a bit physical there. And yet again, as he gets a hold of Tuai. Fiji last year in Vegas won the bowl final over Kenya. They're feeling like they need to do a little more than that last year. And the big man, Mata, rumbles through. And another big guy, Kunatani. Yeah, he's semi-Kunatani, but he's full-on Kunatani here as Africa chasing him to the line. One of the best players on the planet at the game of seven, Semi Kunatari. Taking it to another level at semi final time. Look at the power here, the fend off of Quagga Smith. That is no mean feat. And then he goes around, says a Bronco de Priya. So he's used his power and his pace in one movement. And then his fitness to run 80 meters on the flight. A burn off Cecil Africa. Impressive. Capital I built. He's a farmer, and he knows how to grow it. He also knows how to plant it, and he put that one down for the 20th try on the season for Kunatani. The 24-year-old, 6'3", 213, and you see, well, you see he's got this year uh, points-wise. Well, he gets it done on both sides of the ball. He makes tackles, he offloads, and he's able to score a huge number of tries. He is complete, and, and he's huge, too. I mean, he's a little over 6'3 and 215, and when a guy runs that fast, he looks even bigger. <laughs> Especially from behind, which a lot of people are normally. <laughs> Revovo with the restart. Far side. Sonatla. Oh, Sonatla hit well by Mata. Mata goes splata. Dupreya. Rolled over. Brown clears it out of there. Smith. Back inside Sonatla. He leaves it. Frankie Horn. Oh, intercepted. Fiji going back the other way. Not gonna get him. Mata. Oh, what a beautiful read on defense from Mata. He's exhausted. After that run, they had the numbers to the left-hand side, did the blitz blocker. Frankie Horn delivers it to Kyle Brown, the captain. As soon as he threw it, you could see that he knew. Oh, no, throwing it to the only bloke in a white jersey. <laughs> and the desperation on the face of Mata. He knew he had to get over. You've got to take every opportunity, and he does. A great effort by Werner Koch coming across and really trying to snap that thing out of there, but Mata... At 6'5 and 235, you're trying to tackle a locomotive. Well, that's where it's so unfair on a lot of teams because all these blokes are so big and so strong and so fast, whether they're back or forward. And Fiji with a 12 0 lead on South Africa in this, the Cup semifinal. Neil Powell, yeah, I would say concerned and then some. Can't sleep on them. They build the South African team. They've been here before. Now you give it away like that, especially in the big ones. It's going to be painful for you. And look, a spot opens right up, and it's punched up. Tawai going for it, but coming back now is Africa. His running mate, Sonatla. Sonatla to Dupria, and he can't find the handle. Oh, you thought for a second, Carl, that was an automatic. You got those three guys motoring and tossing it back and forth with each other. You would think that would do it. Quagga Smith with a good hit and hold up on the defensive side. Not rolling away, however, and so the penalty awarded to Fiji. Dragged down is Revovo. The ball knocked forward by Frankie Horn, and that'll bring a whistle and maybe a card. Oh, this is tough, Bill. This is tough for me. He's saying that he knocked it down intentionally, so he's going to sit for the next two minutes. Frankie Horn making it all that much tougher on D. So Horn has a seat with a little over half a minute to go in the first half. Wait, wait, wait. Which means uh, he should come into the second half, maybe a minute and a half into it. I know it took me a while, Carl, because my, <laughs> my math is just terrible. Well, I did it three times at Fulfon Bill, so don't ask me. <laughs> we Fiji have been so impressive in this game. 
Is that they've outmuscled the bully. They've been very physical in this first half. The kick to touch. And so on this near side will be the line out for Fiji with a 12 0 lead with time winding down in the first half. And Frankie Horn in the sin bin. Fiji looking for yet another one as Tuai to Revovo. Revovo gives back to Tuai, circling back inside, and a nice move. Hello, Jenny. Stepping up in the playmaker role, Jerry Tuai, so good. With his footwork, see that nice inside offload from Revovo. He was a standoff, saw Jerry Tuai trailing. Look at that, the way he's able to just stop and go on a dime belt. Just can't teach that. I talked to Jerry. He says he wants to be a pastor when in the future here. And he had some of his minor prayers answered there, crossing the paint. And the conversion attempt by Revovo. Yes, sir. -y. It is Fiji with a 19 to nothing lead at the half of their cup semifinal showdown with South Africa.